I, what? Excuse you? I did not say you could hit me. All right. Hello, hello, everyone. We are back with It's Only Money. Looks like we're going to be talking to the Beggar King for a job. Hey, kid, you've proven you're not afraid to get your hands dirty. I suppose nobody who lives in a sewer would be afraid to get their hands dirty. I'm sure if we could choose, we'd probably wash our hands anyway. Yeah, well, that is fair. Anyway, it's time for you to meet Nana. She's in the dungeon. Why is Nana in the dungeon? It's what we call ah, our bar. I probably should have let you finish your sentence before I started questioning you. But anyway, it's not much of a bar, but we like to roleplay as patrons when we get bored. Nana interfaces with our runners on the surface, and when they run into trouble, she organises backup. She's always got work going, so if you need cash, it's always worth having a chat with her. Ah, fair. Let's go have a chat with Nana, then. What is going on here? Hmm? Interesting little thing. Alright, run! Got a sprint. No other reason than we can. Hello, Nana. Uh, hello, sweetie. I've seen you helping out down here. I'm Nana, and I keep a list of na naughty boys and girls topside who need their hide booted. That's like, uh, are we go in the naughty and nice list. Our people run into all kinds of trouble topside, and send, uh, and I send up available hands to make sure they're safe. That means you and your friends, if you have the time. I've got fresh reports of guys in. Gurana suits ambushing undercity runners. Head on over to Stafford Street Storage and let them know what's up. Oh, no, what's what? Plushy purple jerks, and don't forget, come and see me if you ever need more work or a chat. I like chats too. Fair enough, Nana. Nana's repeatables. Ah, Nana will always offer repeatable combat missions. Interesting. Well, Nana, we will get along just fine. All right, time to go beat the crap out of somebody. Off we go. What throw mode? Oh, yes. Hmm. Let me use this. I think we might be hungry. Yeah, we are hungry. Look at that. Oh, we have chests. I haven't opened these chests. What have I got in the chest? Oh. Ah, oh, well. Uh, what do we get this time? A table. Cool. And once again, what do we get this time? A bag of snails. I'm not sure I like that. What is this? What do I have? No bounty. Ah, I see. I do have an air horn, though. Ah, air horn is junk. Understood. Alright, well, we've had a drink. Off we go. Huh. Easy done. Yoink. <laughs> Let me just yoink that out of your pocket. Ooh, a food park. We are the hungry, so let's nom that down. Beat up the Garana men. Okay, well. Where are they? Where are these bloody demon people giving bloody trouble? There he is. Hadouken! Hadouken! Take that! You do! Give him a good bashing. Whoa, oh dear. No, you don't. Ow. Give me that. There we go. Oh, I can loot you guys. There we go. Let me just check your pockets, too. Ah, we're getting some money as well. All right. Couple more of you to go. How dare you have a guitar? Let me just loot you. Pick up this guitar.
loot you while I'm at it. Hang on. I probably should have told you this earlier, but if you plan on doing more jobs for Nana, you probably want to learn new moves. There's a dojo all... There's dojos all around Rock Haven, but I'll send you a location for Awesome Dragon. Ooh, we can learn some fight moves. All right. I'm digging it. Where is, it? Where, where is this breadcrumb trail going? Because I cannot go through a wall. Truth be told, some of the mayor's men came around and put it in a considerable orbit. It's supremely obvious that they just want to close it down. I want the club to go to someone who cares about the age-old art of snail racing. Be serious, follow me and I'll give you a tour of the club. Pay attention because I don't want to do this twice. My bones hurt. Fair enough, Nana. Then, well, Shelley. All right. Welcome to the slime way. People come from all over to chill out and place bets on snails, trying to outrun piles of salt. What they totally like, and if they could speak English, they'd say, well, this is fun, or I love being a snail in this club. I'm sure they would. Of course, to keep the club topped up, you'll need to deposit snails into the Snail Vault 2000. Any snail you find while out in the city is a worthwhile competitor. Deposit them here and will be stocked for income upcoming races. This is the heart of our operation. I see. Here's the office. You can interact with the vault at the back of the room to withdraw profits, and be sure to do that often. It can only fit so much cash. You can use the computer in the office to buy upgrades, or at least that's what the nice young man who installed the computer told me. I have something to admit. I don't know how to use computers. Fair, fair. All right. Of course, you can place bets, too. Head on over to the bookkeeper and pick up... A Snail, if it survives the round, you're a winner. You also get a nice little bonus if your snail reaches the safe zone first. And that's the slime way. It ain't much, but it's a place of refuge for so many, which is doubly important these days. Understandable. Hmm. That's the club, my dear. You be good to it, and it'll pay you back in kind. The mayor and his goons offered a hefty bag of 1,500. Ah, bag of coin but for the place, but I'll let you take it for 1,500. How's that sound? Yes? Well... I believe that sounds like I need to do some work. Uh, well, Trini is just here. Let's talk to Trini. Uh-huh, mm -hmm. yep. If you've got a couple of minutes, I could really use a hand. I have, I have to scavenge a food run for the folks down at the other but my cousin Malty texts me. Malty's got cordoned off when the mayor closed the bridges, and he has to leave. Uh -huh. He was rushed by three of them in the emu war. Not the bloody emu war, mate. And <laughs> they pecked it relentlessly. You can barely walk these days. Why are you looking at me like that? You don't remember the great emu war of 2002? There was a 2002 emu war. My gosh. I guess it doesn't matter. Point is, I promised Welty I'd drop him a car off. I'm in a real hard spot. Can you help? Any car will do, and by any me, I mean that an essential skill being an undercity runner is jacking. Pick your mark, wait for it to come close, then jump into the car and force the driver out. Be careful, though. Jacking a car puts a big bounty on your head. In a day to in day to day life, do it as a last resort. Thanks for your help. Welty's a good guy. He really. Uh, well, fair enough. Let's uh, get a car for Welty. Let me just pop that while I'm at it. And pop this while I'm at it.
Park the car in the highlighted zone. All right, well... There we go. Well, it's car park spot over here somewhere. Tattletale. Well, that's rude. Uh -huh. And around uh, over here. There we go. For Welty. You Trini's friend. The name's Weltonian G's. My brothers in arms call me Welty. I dedicate my life to ensuring the great horrors of the 2002 Emu will never happen again, mate. I don't want to toot my own horn, but the reason emus haven't taken over Rockhaven, nay, the entire world, is thanks to me and my efforts, mate. My organisation, NME, no more emus, mate, tirelessly gathers intel, monitors nests, and deciphers their squawks of intel. I promise you the next war is coming. This fine car you've procured for me ensures the shipment of up to 100 finely crafted katana. To our HQ of operations at Green Island. If you ever get sick of the trivial day-to-day -day grind, mate, and uh, want to dedicate yourself to a real cause, seek me out. Here's to a future without birds that can't fly, mate. No worries, mate. Hey, there you go, mate. I mean, uh... Hey, what? Excuse you? I did not say you could hit me. No glory to your mayor. Give me your money. All right, there we go. We got the snail way. New badge to claim. Ah, I see. Interesting. Select hotbar to insert item. I see. All right. Well. Do I have more? I do. All right. There we go. More snails added to our collection. And our cash vault. Ah, oh, we made a little bit of money. Sleeping area. Safe increase. Ah, I see. There's a race in progress. Ah, higher hub level required. Higher hub level required. And that's by getting rep. Okay. Hey, thanks for getting that car for Welty earlier. I had no idea how he was going to lug all those katanas to the uh, emu front line by fort. He's really dedicated to his life to uh, the course, you know. I couldn't think of anything more worthwhile. It's totally not a waste of time. <laughs> so thanks. I wanted to teach you how to steal a car in a more delicate way. People leave their cars parked all over Rockhaven. You would have seen a couple by now. They're practically begging to be taken. I have indeed. All you need is a screwdriver and you're as good as gold. You can always buy some from a hardware store if you have none on you. Once you pop the lock, you're free to speed away. You can pop a car without a screwdriver, but you'll damage the car and get a bunch of bounty too. Go visit Bob down the road and he'll hook you up if you mention me. 
All right, Bob. A lawnmower. Hardware, Bob. You, friend Trinson, called ahead. You, the prospective car breaker, into her, I take it. Go on and take these quality American made screwdrivers and remember. You need 100% American-made tools for crimes or otherwise. You come to a, the American hardware. I'll thank you for your business. Extra screwdriver, just in case. Now well, we now have some screwdrivers. There we go. Look at that. My emu recon training comes in handy when scoping folks out. I'm going to send you the location for a place called Wheelish. You can find them all over the city. They'll junk any car you bring in. No questions asked. It's a quick and effective way to get a bit of extra cash if you need it. Tomorrow, you might salvage a cool upgrade from the car you're crushing to use later. Ah, very nice. Crusher car park. Fair enough. <clears throat> Let's go over there, then. Is this it? This is a, is this the little spot? Oh, look at this. Crush the car. Not sure it's a car, but I will crush the motorcycle, I guess. There we go. Look at that. Bit of extra money. Oh, dear. Well... <coughs> We broke it. Brittany, what have you got for me now? Rockhaven's best car thief. How are you doing? You've done a lot for Welty and me. It's so great that you not only dedicate your time to the Undercity, but also to Welty's fight against the emus. If you have the time, the front line could use an additional vehicle. Any regular old car won't do this time. Welty needs something specific, a vehicle that can take a beating. Something that screams destroyer of wild love. I got to think. Have you seen this ride on lawn mowers? Oh, that's the vehicle we need. That thing would strike fear in any bird that decides to call Rockhaven home. Head to any American hardware shop and use your skills to get it going. Staff, so you head to Bob's shop. Please don't let him know I told you to do this. Ah, oh, yes. Any shop, except, uh, you know, if you rob Bob, then uh, you did that of your own accord. Sorry, Bob. Uh, I need to borrow or uh, abscond one of these. There we go. Just got to go this way. Thank you. Oh, got a little alien on the back there. It uh, hey, Trini told me on the. Can you quickly turn around and get a big boy royale from a chunky boy I haven't eaten in days? Really? Any chunky boy store? What? Um. Well, you see, the problem with that is, where the fuck are they? Alright, there. Okay, place a marker on that then. <clears throat> Alright, just casually driving through town with this, uh, vroom vroom. Don't mind me. Alright, he wants a chunky boy big royale. Oh, and I will get us some bloody food while we're here, mate. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, yeah, that's a good thing right there. And back in the driver's seat. There we go. Brap! Oh, this has got some drift to her. Oh, and some cowboy time darts. They got those at the fill up. Some of my bish. Boy, howdy, look at this absolute beast of a machine. This is what you call an American muscle. 
Yeah, you see these uh, mowers come pre-equipped with rotating swords on the underside. Our ancestors came up with this technology when we had to fight asymmetrical war against nature in the primitive times. Ah, oh, crap. Before I forget, did you get the chunky boy sandwich in cowboy times? Oh, we. Oui. These will keep the boys in the trenches well supplied. Boys mean at me, trenches mean at my house. Dismissed. There we go. <laughs> I just got some of the gosh darn most disturbing intelligence possible. The Australians, the damn Australians, are in collusions with the emu forces. Stop laughing, you damn bastard. This is for real. I thought he was an Aussie, but apparently not. I'll prove it. I'm going to mark three locations for you. There you'll find Australian spy balloons. You must pop them. Who knows what sort of data they're sending back to that land mass full of dangerous creatures and utes and whatever else Australia has. To pop them plushy sons of dungs, you've got to toss something at them. The Australians, they make weak balloons. Nothing a bit of flying junk on handle. If you don't have anything to toss, grab something out of a nearby bin or a uh, pocket. <laughs> Oh dear. What are your pockets like? Ah, oh, yeah, she got decent. Ow! Why are you attacking me? I don't even have a bounty on my head. This has just decided, well, fuck him in particular. Alright. There's one bloody thing down, mate. Yeah, nah. I should have some more junk in my pocket. Got to take care of some bloody Australian balloons, mate. Fucking can't have these things getting around, can we? Yeah, no, no, yeah, no. It's a bloody problem, mate. All right, back to Welty, mate. And, uh, let him know that the Australian balloons are taken care of and uh, so are a couple of things in the bloody neighbourhood there, you know. Yeah. You're right, Welty. There we go, mate. Told you, I told you, didn't I? And you laugh. Why would you laugh at Weltonian Jeeves, expert emu killer and patriot? Now promise me, if you see more of these darn heckin' trader balloons, you'll pop them. Do so, and the NME, the world's premier bird defence squadron, will re reward your valiant efforts, soldier. Dismissed. All right, well... Bogan balloons popped and taken care of. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no. All right. But I think this is a good as place as any to leave it. So thank you all for watching. Thank you all for tuning in. Remember to like and subscribe to support the channel. And we'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye.